this answer is not going to sound very sophisticated, but um, we all know the impact that uh, the cell phone had um, on the development of the planet. Um, it has been enormous and uh, it keeps rolling. Um, the next innovation which is going to, uh, we believe, transform uh, social and economic systems around the world is the internet. Um, the internet today is really in the hands of uh, about a billion to billion and a half people. Uh, less than a billion people can access the internet on a daily basis and whenever they want. Um, the next six billion people on the planet do not. Um, and of them, four of them have never used the internet. Uh, when they are able to, in a meaningful, uh, successful way, um, it will have the power to transform uh, everything from how they get jobs, how they get educated, and uh, uh, and the most important problem that faces poverty, which is really information problem, the information disintermediation that will happen uh, when the internet is in the hands of everyone, uh, will I think cause an enormous change, uh, almost like the shock wave that Toffler talks about. So coming back to the topic that I mentioned about the internet, um, the internet for many of us um, who grew up, you know, educated and uh, versed in modern technology uh, is fine if it's a 256 or a 128 kbps bandwidth. Uh, for a person who is barely literate, think of you know the literacy level of a five-year-old, which is the most of the world or even less. Um, they need broadband on their mobile device. And uh, they need video uh, to learn, they need video to talk, and uh, they need video to interact uh, with their social networks to get jobs and access health systems in the government and so on and so forth. Um, and the biggest constraint that faces us today is the mindset that the mainstream of the world, the seven billion people, may perhaps do not need a high bandwidth network connection. On the contrary, they need, a, they need high bandwidth more than anybody else. And uh, making that happen um, is a technological challenge, is a policy challenge, um, and um, an operational challenge. And uh, I cannot think of a better partner than the US government than to make it happen uh, around the world.